I want to talk about muscle relaxants. You know, two or three days of 20 milligrams of baclofen BID with a little NSAID and like, I'm as good as new and I save myself the, you know, the real flare up. So what, what are yeah. your experience with muscle relaxants? Baclofen is one of the safest to use. It is not habit forming like the somas. Yep. And people can get highly psychologically dependent on them. The flexorils have a tricyclic antidepressant property about them that may sometimes be helpful for people in various mixed mm. pain states, but also can cause sedation. Yep. The baclofen seems to be pretty benign. Um, we don't typically use muscle relaxants for long-term chronic conditions. The data hasn't borne out. Now, with that said- So how many days are you comfortable with a person? Oh, I'm, I'm comfortable with a person being on baclofen all their life, to oh, be you clear. Are. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just everything I'm doing is taken in the context of the person in front of me and the cost and benefit of the treatments I'm providing them, meaning- there are costs with baclofen. I don't mean monetary cost. Yeah. It can cause sedation. But I'm always evaluating long term, is this person getting benefit from this? Should we be talking about dialing it back and trying to wean? And if they're not getting benefit, then why should they stay on the medication? What dose are you comfortable up to 20 milligrams three times a day? Yeah, up to 80 milligrams, I believe, is kind of the upper end. I don't usually get there. Is Neurontin still a very powerful tool in the use of neuropathic pain? The beauty of Neurontin or Gabapentin and its um, cousin, Pregabalin, the only way you can be hurt taking this drug is if you're struck by a truck that's carrying it. It's a little bit more nuanced than that because there are side effects. Yep. You could fall asleep driving. You can fall asleep driving. I tell people, don't operate heavy machinery, don't go, you know, doom buggy riding, don't blah, blah, blah. Um, there is, in elderly patients in particular, uh, I warn them about falls because you can get a little unstable. And again, you're using these for the most recalcitrant neuropathic pain, typically? I'm using these for the most recalcitrant pain in general. And so by definition, what's the, we didn't even do this, I'm sorry, we didn't define chronic pain, but how would you put a definition on that? There's various definitions. Some like to put a time frame on it, which I think many of us believe is a little artificial. It's not three months or six months. It is pain that persists beyond the expected time of tissue healing. 